Now, let's start with that incredible news that is just breaking this afternoon. Sky News Australia revealing Reserve Bank Governor Dr Philip Lowe enjoyed a taxpayer-subsidised mortgage perk on top of his generous salary. Sky News' Olivia Casley reports that Dr Lowe was given a half-price loan by the RBA to buy his five-bedroom home in Sydney's east. Land title documents obtained by Sky News reveal Dr Lowe took out two loans to buy the property for $1.75 million in 1997. Up to $241,000 was loaned by the Reserve Bank to Dr Lowe at the heavily discounted rate and another $151,000 was borrowed directly from the Commonwealth Bank. The documents suggest that neither of the loans have been discharged but an RBA spokeswoman says they were paid off several years ago. She says Dr Lowe no longer has a mortgage. For some years, his interest rate was locked at half the standard variable rate being paid by Commonwealth Bank customers across Australia. And there are said to be another 11 employees of the RBA who are still enjoying this perk, although the scheme was dumped in 2001. This is the final straw. The RBA governor has got to go. His time is up. First, he misled Australians, encouraging people to take out mortgages, promising that rates wouldn't rise until 2024. Instead, we're in March of 2023, and there have been 10 consecutive rate rises. It's not his fault that inflation is high, but as Peter Costello said yesterday, he and the RBA board were too slow to act. And he promised Australians, he gave them a very clear indication that they could safely leverage, they could safely borrow money without rates going up until 2024. He misled Australians. As a result, the people who can afford it the least, the lowest 10% Socioeconomic earners in Australia are now feeling serious financial pressure. They are struggling to meet their mortgage repayments. They are struggling with the high cost of living. This is on his shoulders. It shouldn't be waiting until September for when his term expires. The government should tell him he needs to resign now. This latest news broken by Sky News' Olivia Casely just a short while ago shows that he is so out of touch. He currently does not have a mortgage now, but even when he did have one, he wasn't even paying the same variable rate that the rest of Australians paid. He was paying half the variable rate. No employee of the RBA should be giving, given a perk that the rest of Australians don't have. Remember, this is the man who promised you rates wouldn't rise until 2024. Have a look at him saying that. The board has once again considered the likelihood of an increase in the cash rate over a three-year window, which now extends out to November 24. The situation today is quite different from that that we faced in March last year. We're no longer looking over a cliff, but instead we're transitioning from recovery to expansion. This improvement has widened the range of plausible scenarios for the cash rate.